Ugh. What sinister presence lingers in the air? And who are you? Did you want to speak with me? There they are! It's them! You'll be damned for trying to take Abbot Francisco's life! What on earth? What, what's going on? Abbot Francisco, Captain Marcello, at your service, as always. Ah, Marcello. Tell me, what's happening? There has been a breach of security. Many of the guards have been seriously wounded. What? I feared you might be in danger, so I came immediately. And sure enough, we've caught these criminals. They've been loitering around the Abbey since midday. It seems we were just in time. I thank the goddess that you're safe. Wait, these people are no criminals. Please, Holy Father, they were caught red-handed. Look into their eyes, see their pure hearts. These people are guilty of nothing. But... Very good. But we must find out what they were doing here in your residence so late at night. At the very least, let us ascertain that. Please. <laughs> you really are a warrior, Marcello. Very well, if you must. Thank you, Holy Father. Sir, shall we go? Now look here! We ain't done nothing wrong! Yeah! We told you! It was your man who asked us to check up on the abbot! What right have you to keep us here? The abbot is too forgiving. If you're innocent, then who attacked my men? I, on the other hand, am not so forgiving. You won't fool me, so don't try. You're confessing them. Who is it? You sent for me, Captain. Come in. I have a question to ask you, but there's something else first. We've just arrested these intruders in the abbot's residence. They were attempting to take his life. They wounded six of my men. Very well. The problem is this. My guard is watertight. I make sure of that. There's no way for an outsider to get inside the Abbey. Unless, of course, they have inside help. And would you believe it? When we searched their possessions, we found this ring. Templar Angelo, where is your ring? Show it to me now if you have it. Phew, it's turned up. Thank the goddess. What? 
someone stole it from me at the pub. And it looks like they're about to learn that crime doesn't pay. Stole it? What? You little fibber! We've no use for a ring like that. He set us up. I should have known better than to believe a single word from the mouth of a filthy cheat like you. I have nothing further to say. You can find me in my chambers. Wait! We're not done here. Fine. I'll deal with him later. First things first. You've wasted enough of my time. Don't try my patience. I want answers. What did you plan to do to the abbot? Confess. Uh, how many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess! What is it now? We found a suspicious monster loitering outside the abbey. What? What kind of monster? Ouch! Look! What the devil do you think you're doing? You, youngest Jessica! What are you all doing in here? You were gone for such a long time, I was getting rather worried. So I just decided to come and look for you when this... <laughs> so, this monster is a friend of yours then? So much for your pure hearts. What's wrong with you? Unhand me at once, you insolent ruffian! Get him off me! You are in league with the monster. You may have deceived Abbot Francisco, but you don't fool me. It was the monster who ordered you to steal the ring and infiltrate the Abbey, was it? You cursed heathens. Thought you could scare people by killing the abbot, did you? Make them question their faith? And then move in and take control, I suppose. Take these monstrosities to the cells! Come dawn tomorrow, I will have you tortured. Perhaps then you will realize the gravity of the sins you have committed. <laughs> Until sunrise, then. Sleep well. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Ah, come here, you! Now, now, control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps you will accept this as conciliation. What are you up to?
The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Follow me. The guard's up ahead. Right, no one make a sound. I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Perfect. It worked. Sleeping like a baby. Okay, through here. Right, we're safe in here. You can talk again now. Good! Tell us what's going on! What ordeal do you intend to put us through next, hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen before. Well, what is it? There. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad, eh? Like I said, not bad, eh? What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good. But you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. This leads outside. Let 
dear. My dear. You're safe. Were you lonely without me? There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. The princess and I will go on ahead. Make sure you're not too far behind. Princess? Whatever. Come on, let's go. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So, this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely that jester didn't come back again. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot.
Where's Marcello? Huh? That sinister presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's pure evil. As if all the demons of hell had gathered to feast upon... Abbot Francisco! Marcello? Are you in there? Damn! What's going on? It's no good! It won't budge. You lot! Did you follow me here? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Just one last time, alright? We're going to have to do this by brute force. There might just be enough of us. The door's locked from the inside. We've got to break it down. Come on, everyone together. Yes! Marcello! It was all... that jester. I... couldn't stop him. He's strong. <coughs> but you can't let him. This is an order. Templar Angelo. Get the abbot to safety. <laughs> now, nothing stands in my way. Don't worry, Marcello. I will be fine. I have given myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But, wretched sinner, if that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The Goddess will protect us all from whatever evil you can muster. Well, well, what faith you have. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Wait, 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 wait! Go, blimey! It's... Been a while. 
stool, Magus. Ah, if it isn't King Toad, looking as small and ugly as ever. Shut up! Return my daughter and I to normal at once! Do you realize what you've done to my castle? It seems fate and your benevolent goddess are both on my side. <laughs> yes, such a pity. Poor Francisco. is such sweet sorrow. 